Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16 brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Apparently those trees cannot set on fire. We're gonna go to Labyrinth 2. Okay, this one should be a little bit trickier compared to Labyrinth 1. See these blocks over there? Watch what happens when you get right next to them. They're traps. Usually the brown blocks will do that to ya. So watch yourself at all costs. I'll get the bombs ready in case I need to use them. These blocks look safe. I think it's here you get an upgrade for your sword. Let's look for that. Oh, I gotta push a block. There we go. Ah, it's another old man. You'll have to have a large supply of bombs to go on from here. When you get to the end room of this labyrinth, use a bomb to destroy the wall. If only you could retrieve the medallion, I'd be set free of these miserable chains. What makes you think I'm gonna let you go? Maybe I want you chained up. Anyways... Got ourselves some slime enemies. And apparently the theme of this dungeon makes sure you got plenty of bombs. Ow. Now maybe I need one here. Oh, yes I do. Let's see what we can find over here. Oh, someone was already chained here and there is nothing. Maybe I need to lay a bomb somewhere else? No? How about over here? Okay, so this was a room of nothingness. And I just wasted bombs. Who should have used save states for trial and error? But anyways, I digress. Good, I get some more bombs anyway from killing enemies. That's convenient. Hopefully I can find that new sword here. Let's look for it. Oh, I see something. I see a chest. Ooh, cherries. We like cherries. Cherries are good for you. go. Ah, the crystal ball. Well, it's a map. Okay, the blue spot's where I'm at. Therefore, I gotta go a little bit more to the left if I want to keep exploring. Okay, some giant bats. Can I blow this up? Ah, yes I can. Ah, let's see what new room this is. Chest? Okay. That's a little something I didn't expect. Like a hidden room actually had a chest in it. The boom bombs. Okay, just some more bombs. That's all. Nothing too special. Let's just look around a little bit more. Can I get that? Yes, I can. Okay, can I blow this up? No, I can't. I'd rather save my bombs, that's what the save states are for. Ow. God, even like a gust of wind will blow this guy back. I mean, as much as I like this game, I like I said before, I really hated that every single enemy attack knocks Gisetta right back. You gotta make that jump. Like, when Link gets knocked back, it's because an Iron Knuckle swings an axe at him. Not by getting hit by the tiniest thing. It makes no sense. It really discredits the hero. Can I blow this up? Yes, I can. Perfect. Ooh, I saw the trap block. No. I'll take these punk asses out. Come on, don't get over here. Like, you know, the only reason you went over here is because the block won't trigger on you. It only triggers on me. Okay, which one of these blocks can I push? Eh, not this one or this one. No, it can't be that one because I can't touch it. 
Which one is it? None of them. I guess this was a one-way path. Maybe I can blow this wall up. Let's give it a shot. Nope, you can't. I think this is where the crystal is. Yeah, so I think maybe I should go to the right a little bit more. Before I go over here, I don't even have the key. So I'll come back here later. Replenish my bombs, of course. Well, I haven't been down. Maybe I should check this door out. Damn it. Come on, it's just a slime, Gisetta. Okay, I see a chest. Will this be the key or the sword? Please let it be the sword. Ah, the bronze sword! Perfect! It matches my armor. Now I can kill enemies in fewer hits. Even the bats go in one hit. That's my favorite part. You'll have fuck you. Okay, these enemies still can't die in one hit, but they'll die in two hits now. Well, which is alright, it's better than three. I think it was originally three. Can I blow this up? No, I can't. Okay, the bats that are giants will take two hits. I mean, I'm really glad I got a new weapon now. Should help me out in the long run. There. There, I can grab money just by stabbing it. Reminds me a lot like the CDI Zelda games. I think this is the wall I gotta blow up. I thought so. There, Karate Wolves need two hits to kill now. Oh yeah, too late now. Yeah, let's freeze all the enemies in place even though there are no enemies. There, and I gotta go all the way back to the left so I can actually use the key and take on the boss. Cool. We're making some progress. Da, 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 this is very exciting. I don't want to talk to you, but every time I go in the room with the old guy, I automatically walk over to him so I can talk to him and ask him about his day. Like, how's your day going chained up to the wall? Is that going really well for ya? Do you got the athlete's butt? Okay, I'm gonna need some health badly. I don't want to use a medicine. If I can find some health without using a medicine, I'd be happy. And I doubt I'm going to get that lucky. See? Didn't believe it would happen. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, that counts as a hit? Like, I was clearly hitting one sprite. Counts as a miss. But anyone just brushes near me. Oh, that's a hit. Sometimes the hit detection isn't perfect, but, you know. I mean, it could be worse. Okay, you guys definitely gotta drop at least one cherry for me. Just one. Just one? A, a single cherry will be alright, I'm not asking for two. No, give me half a cherry, I don't care. Fuck yes then. Well, I guess I'm taking on the boss, who happens to be Jewish. Oh my god, look at this golem. Oh, come on! So much for isometric hit detection. Like his head hurt me. 
Like, I'm, how can I be standing up to his head? Oh, guess I'm taking on the boss with this little bit of health. Look, I'm sorry, but I thought that Minora was a sex toy. Get over it. Okay. Well, at least I know how to dodge this guy with relative ease. And it's gonna be a little bit slow with the music. And I just gotta be very careful. Got him! There, finally the beeping's gonna stop. Eventually. The prize medallion, finally. There, that's two. This is the passage to the subterranean spear. Watch for the evils that lurk. Alright, a health upgrade. And plus, I get to go to a new overworld. The Subterranean Spear. Which is over here, by the way. Now watch this, now I got a new attack with my Fire Wand. Yep, welcome to Subterrane. Or the Subterranean Spear. What the? Oh, that was a trap rock. Actually, all of them are trap rocks. And since my health went back down, I'm back to the simple attack, the fire wand. Now I'm gonna be dealing with some new enemies and some new hazards. The subterranean spear was once a peaceful and pleasant land, but Dirth and his nasty gang of ghouls and goblins have terrorized our homes. Do your best to retrieve the medallion so we may all enjoy the good life again. Yes, yeah, because an underground cave with lots of lava and whatnot seems pretty peaceful already. Why not? And jumping bugs, too, yay! Okay, what's down here? Guess I'll have to kill these bugs. Extermination! For the win. Okay. Ah, hidden block. Who are you? I am the Monk of Key from the world down under. I wish to help you in your search. I will give you an ability to carry an extra four bombs. Ah, oh, cool, thanks! Wow, unlike Zelda 1, I get this expansion for free! Thanks! That done me one hell of a service. Okay, yep, you're a fake. Actually, you're all fakes. I don't think one of these is real. Oh, by killing you all, I create a staircase. Cool. If you follow this labyrinth north, you will find the crypt of the first medallion. Take care of the deadly stone monster who watches over the medallion. Okay, so apparently the boss is stone related? I'll explore this place a little bit more in the next video. I'm out of time. So, see you later.